Over the last decade the demand for organic food has been growing rapidly. And you can understand why, since they are supposedly healthier, better for the environment, and society. Buying organic produce has shifted from simply an alternative, to a social duty. But what do we even mean when we say, organic? Organic food is produced by a farming system under six criteria markers, such as avoiding the use of man-made pesticides and fertilizers, and other man-made additives, such as antibiotics in livestock feed. GMO foods are generally forbidden as well. In this video we are going to look at the evidence on organic food. And so the question that lies before us. Is organic food healthier, or is it just a costly trend that we can bypass without feeling guilty? Is organic food healthier? The main idea associated with organic is to avoid the harmful chemicals that are used to produce them. Pesticides and fertilizers. There are several studies that show that organic food has less pesticide residue present. Pesticides are toxic to human consumption and therefore conventional foods that contain pesticides are toxic for humans. However, it is interesting to note that the study showed pesticide residue present in the organic foods as well. How is that possible? This is because, in organic farming pesticides are used as a last resort, they aren't actually forbidden. Most organic pesticides are natural toxins to humans. Such as methyl eugenol and copper sulfate. Well what is the difference between regular and organic pesticides? Not a lot surprisingly. Organic pesticides just like synthetic ones vary in toxicity. In the world of toxic chemicals, the toxicity of a substance depends on the concentration, rather than it being from nature or not. For example some organic produce use the pesticide copper sulfate, which has been shown to be harmful to humans. The bulk of the issue, lies at how much exposure we are getting from the food. There are a few recent studies on how our current pesticide exposure affects our long-term health. A Polish study from 2018 found that pesticides can cause health-damaging effects by interacting with humans' DNA. While a 2019 meta-analysis study found organic pesticides to increase risk of cancer. However both cases was due to excessive amounts of exposure above the safe limit. Complicating things even more, a 2018 study from Denmark associated eating non-organic food with the same toxicity level as drinking a cup of caffeinated coffee, once a month. Right now contamination from bacteria and fungi is much more common, which can come from organic or regular food. All pesticides are regulated and tested very strictly in many western countries nowadays. Every year thousands of food examples are streamed for pesticides. The majority of samples have no residues or just a fraction of the tolerance level. Basically, the pesticides on your food are nothing to lose sleep over. Despite this, we should continue to demand strict standards on our food, and greater research to be conducted. If you do want to be on the safe side, yet don't have the money to buy everything organic, then the dirty dozen list will be able to reduce the risk most effectively. Is organic food more nutritious? It is believed that organic food with their natural cultivation makes them more nutritious, and therefore healthier. While there has been several studies that show organic foods to contain more antioxidants, vitamins and minerals. Other studies have found but little differences, with insignificant margins for health. As far as what the current science that is available testify, organic food is not significantly more nutritious. And as we continue to investigate this question, there is some good news. Eating fruit and vegetables whether it be organic or not, will positively do a lot more for you health. Is organic food better for the environment? A recent meta-analysis, looked at organic farming. Analyzing several hundred foods and their impact on categories like energy consumption, greenhouse gas emission, and land needs. The result, no production method is better for the environment. These mixed results also was confirmed by other studies. The biggest difference was land use, where conventional farming clearly won. And toxicity, where organic has a clear advantage. As far as we understand now, organic food isn't superior to conventional food. Especially when we look at it on a broader level. 
Demand is rising constantly and the struggle to supply the market can lead to production methods that are even more unsustainable. Take organic coconut for example, the environmental impact is relatively low, however recent high demands puts coastal mangroves at risk, as they are cleared for coconut monocrops, reducing biodiversity and depleting the soil. Not to mention the high greenhouse emission due to traveling far from tropical places. As supply chains get more and more competitive to make all kinds of organic produce and regulations become more difficult. This has led to, to instance of fraud where conventional food is labeled and sold as expensive organic produce. As we continue on this journey to solve the problems we face, it is important to remember we are all in this together. For many organic is not simply a farming method, but rather an ideology. People want to do the right thing, for the health of their children and well-being of the planet. Buying organic, feels right. However the solution that is holding us back could be the way in which we go about it. And the way we see conventional food as the enemy. A good way to produce healthy food efficiency would be to use the best of each method. If you simply want to eat healthy, then buying local fruit and vegetables in season, and of any kind, will be the most helpful. Along with watching our book review on how to eat, to live a better, healthier, life. To sum up. Seasonal food and what you eat is much more important than how it is produced. And don't forget to watch our book summary.